here with Keith Bergelt. He's the CEO of the Open Invention Network. How's it going, Keith? Good. Great to, glad to be here. Okay, so can you tell me a bit about what the Open Invention Network is and what you do? Sure. The Open Invention Network is essentially a defensive patent management organization designed to steward protection for the community to ensure that Linux and open source are able to uh, uh, those who participate in Linux and open source are able to drive innovation and invention processes so that uh, there's no limitation on freedom of action and freedom to operate. Now, the idea of a patent on software or hardware is one that goes back for a long time. We've seen some recent patent reform coming out of DC. Uh, what do you expect to change as a result of that? I don't expect there to be a tremendous amount of change uh, for the community. Um, I think there'll be some adjustments, and you know, lawyers are spending a lot of time right now explaining what the uh, what the changes mean. But for the most part, it's a document born of compromise. But I think what is important on the heels of that, you're going to see some reform of the ITC, and so the ITC is an environment now where people are securing injunctions. Uh, in some cases against Linux and the open source products. And so what we're looking to do is ensure that the ITC, along with a number of other companies, uh, is, an, is a forum where, where Linux and open source is, is properly represented as having a uh, public interest exception to uh, the grant or the issue of an injunction. Now, uh, the issues of injunction or litigation are unfortunately not uh, unknown to entrepreneurs, especially in this space anymore, or to the big companies that are rolling along. Um, what sorts of trends are affecting what's happening with Android in that space right now? Well, there's a lot of, obviously, litigation. People call it mobile wars. There are a number of names that people have characterized it with. But essentially, it's, uh, it's an environment in which, uh, because of the incredible success of, of Linux and the Android platform, there's been there have been attempts by trolls, which are patent aggregators that are active in acquiring patents and then asserting and litigating, as well as by operating companies that are antagonistic to Linux. You're seeing a movement toward uh, attempting to impose a tax and create a total cost of ownership that is uh, is quite high to try and create equivalents that they can't create in the market with their products. They're trying to create it uh, with uh, patent uh, assertion activities. And what risk do those kinds of activities pose for individual developers, entrepreneurs, or startups? I don't think they, uh, they pose significant risk because what happens is markets have a tendency toward rationalization and order. And so what I expect over the next two years, 24, 36 months, that there'll be a movement toward cross-licensing among companies that hold fundamental patents in, in critical applications. A lot of the litigation that you see is not on the Linux kernel, but it's on applications that are somewhat agnostic to Linux. But nonetheless, they affect, again, the total cost of ownership uh, to run Linux platforms, either for a vendor or for a carrier. And as you see this marketplace evolving, and obviously mobile's changing very quickly, um, what are some of the things that you're trying to protect, or, or at least uh, to preserve for the commons? Uh, what we're doing is acquiring patents and conveying them on a royalty-free basis to anyone who wants a license to them. In return, they have to agree not to sue on Linux grounds, and they have to agree to uh, convey their patents that they own on Linux that are related to Linux to the entire community. So we're creating a sense of community within the community around the notion of patent freedom, and uh, and I think we're we move from a position of having only 30 or 40 licensees a couple of years ago to now having uh, close to 500. And so we're really advancing the whole movement toward greater inclusivity, uh, development of that sense of connectedness and, 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 uh, uh, and authenticity that's important because what we want to do is mirror the activities and behaviors and comportment of the community. So for our viewers here who might want to extend the conversation beyond video into the web itself, uh, where can they go to learn more? They can look at our website, and they can look at the Linux Defenders website. Linux Defenders is essentially a program offshoot of ours which helps companies uh, identify prior art to limit patents that can ultimately be granted and also reduce the, uh, the number of, uh, of new patents that are ultimately issued that, uh, that are relevant to, the, to open source and Linux. Great. Well, that was Keith Bergelt, the CEO of the Open Invention Network, and I think we'll send you back to the live stream online.